Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you tonight for this uh, Tuesday album review for Red, Innocence, and Instinct, the deluxe edition, of course. I'm reviewing all 14 tracks from this 55-minute record. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for all 14 songs for this Red, Innocence, and Instinct and let you know what I thought of this uh, Tuesday album review I'm reviewing for you guys tonight. I think this is for Season 6, Episode 13, I presume. Yeah, 13. Um, I kind of lose track of where I left off on some things, but still. Let's dive into this Tuesday album review tonight. Now it starts with Intro Canto 2, Canto 3, I meant to say. I almost said Canto 2 by mistake. I think this was a strong intro. It was a little weird to start it off, basically, and sorry about the background noise. It's my PlayStation telling me the Wi-Fi was disconnected. I'm like, eh, it just connects and disconnects. It's so freaking weird. But still, um, Canto 3, the intro track to open this record just has weird static noises and some talking, gibberish talking in the background, that it's a little hard to interpret, interpretate, interpret in a way, but it still sounds pretty good, and haunting too, to start off the record, so 5 out of 5, and it has piano work in it too, that I did enjoy. Fight Inside was the main track for this record. It's a great song, by the way. I think Michael Barnes' vocals sound amazing in this track. And just, this was their best track on this record. One of their best tracks, so 5 out of 5. Um, I love the guitar work, drum work. Lyrics are on point with what it's talking about and uh, what the message behind the song is. But still, it's a great track and worth listening to. Death of Me is a pretty good track, too. Um, I remember watching the music video back in the day, and I really did enjoy that music video. That was pretty well uh, done music video. And pretty much the track is a banger, for sure. Michael Barnes' vocals, even his screaming vocals, are pretty good, too. So really enjoyed that aspect about this track. And pretty much this track was a banger. I love the bridge part. I won't forget. I cannot forget this uh, screaming part of the track. And it builds up to that scream when he's screaming it, but it still sounds very fresh. Very enjoyable of a listen. Mystery of You is a great track. It has Michael Barnes' clean vocals in this track, and it sounds really impressive. He has. I don't think he has any screaming vocals in this track. But still, it sounds really good. So, it sounds really nice, too, of a track. Uh, so, 5 out of 5. Start Again was probably one of my personal favorite tracks. Very deep and emotional of a song, in a way. But it still sounded really good. So, really enjoyed this track. The violin work is outstanding in this track. And just Michael Barnes' singing vocals are really good. So... Pretty good track, 5 out of 5. Never Be the Same is pretty good in its own way. It wasn't one of my favorite songs, but it's fine. Uh, it's listenable, for sure. So, 4.75 out of 5. It's a least favorite, but it's not one of the worst tracks. It's still a strong track in its own way, but still. 4.75 out of 5. Confessions, What's Inside My Head, or Confession, What's Inside My Head is what I should have said. Um, great track. The screaming vocals at the end of the track are amazing. And it's only like 2 minutes and 44 seconds of a song. But it still kicks ass for sure. So, Michael Barnes' vocals sound amazing in this track. Even the guitar work and drum work is pretty heavy for sure. So, 5 out of 5. Shadows was a good track. Even Michael Barnes's clean vocals and his screaming vocals, he mixes it up with this track and it sounds like 
top gold in my opinion so this track is really nice really like the violin work in this track M musically it's well thought out and well performed so pretty much five out of five ordinary world the duran duran cover is actually one of their best tracks um i really enjoyed this it's really nice melodic sounds pretty interesting even I think for the opener it sounds melodic, but it does have some heavy drum work that's still pretty strong. So really dug this version. Even the original is pretty good, but I think this one's probably top notch, and I think Duran Duran would approve of this. So uh, five out of five. Out from under, great track. Really enjoyed this track. Uh, it has different. It changes its melody in this track at the bridge part. But then it goes back to the regular melody where he sings pressure so much. I think um, he sings it three times, like screams it. And it sounds really good, so 5 out of 5. Take It All Away is a really nice melodic track for the first two and a half, three minutes. And it sounds really nice and haunting, for sure, of a track. But I really like the emotion in this track. From Michael Barnes' vocals sounding really amazing and very angelic too. So, really like that about the track. So, 5 out of 5. Overtake You is a pretty strong track. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this one, to be honest. But, I think it's a grower. So, this is a 5 out of 5 for me. For Overtake You, it's pretty strong. And it's worth checking out. Forever is... Probably the second to last track and one of my favorite songs. I think Take It All Away, uh, Forever, um, they're my favorite tracks. So, pretty much, and the last track is my favorite too. So, 5 out of 5 for Forever. I really enjoyed Michael Barnes' singing vocals. The potential in his vocals sound amazing. And just instrumentally wise and musically, this track is a outstanding. It's really nice and well thought out, so 5 out of 5. Nothing and Everything is kind of like the Fight Inside Part 2. Um, it kind of introduces the second part to it, but a more melodic, toned down track, and really nice emotional too, with the melody, but it sounds really haunting, and it's worth checking out. It is probably the best closing track for this record, and worth listening to, one of my favorites. So 5 out of 5. Overall production mixing and execution wise, I think Red, Innocence, and Instinct was an amazing record. Probably one of their b best sophomore records that I've listened to in their discography. So it's worth checking out, it's worth listening to, and this record is top notch. Probably coming down to being one of my favorites in 2009 when it came out. So, if I were to give this record its deserved score, I'm going to give it a strong 9.5 out of 10. It's a really strong record. I would have given it a excellent 10 out of 10, but there is one issue. Never be the same. Wasn't clearly my favorite, but it wasn't terrible. It was probably the pretty good track, but it was the least favorite. But overall, 9.5 out of 10 for Red, Innocence, and Instinct. I really enjoyed this record. It's worth listening to, worth checking out. And this is probably their best record from 2009. So, with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this Tuesday album review tonight. And you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching.